Hello. Uh, uh, welcome to uh, Automation with Praveen. Today I have demonstrated RE framework template. Generally, anyone given to you project, just start with any kind of sequence and complete your project when it and when when it comes to enterprise there is some standard to be follow you cannot simply go and create sequence and start of process it is not possible that way so you should have proper standard which is error free work free and easy to understand and lot of things to achieve that, we will use the RE framework. Let's understand. This is quite easy, all of you. Please continue, don't skip it while I do it. Ensure you to practice and end of the session. I will ensure you will understand RE framework. So, Just I click the robotic enterprise framework. And given them like taste. Or a framework. And click on create. You must know RE framework stands from robotic enterprise framework. Okay. It would take them some time. This is RE framework template. Guys, you can see it. This is quite simple. There is four different stage. One is your initialization. Second one is a gate transaction. Third is process transaction and last is final stage in process. In initialization, here we get some data from config file and misread the uh, config file and also Kill the uh, kill the process whenever open and initialize the uh, initialize the all application like open the application web browser or open Excel like and second move one is a get transaction. Here just to, here we get all the transaction item. Okay. Let's have data present in Excel or Q. We have each row name, employee ID and employee mail ID. I want to process each of data. So these are transaction item. Here, if no data, then go to uh, go to end process. Third one is a process transaction. Once data process successfully, then 
actually basically here we deal with the data and use the business exception while processing data there is any kind of error go to any state and get data again and last one is a final stage in interview they might they might ask how many stages are there you would say four stage as of now our framework architecture is clear okay so what i have to do this the job for me is there is a one website you must know website name whenever we practice the ui path i have one excel sheet which has got the first name last name company role email address phone number and address so this data i have to upload this website before uh, implement our framework to data supposed to there into queue go to the ui path platform add the queue name first like create name queue Suppose test army framework test error. Okay, just copy it. Go to army framework studio. i have to create a dispatcher type of workflow for dispatch data from that create a sequence get data i need to read the excel files file first so i have to read the data i am going to take a read range activity Mention the seat now. Yeah. 
here I will create data table output variable name is read dt once you read I want upload data one by one for that I will use the for each loop activity Here mentioned data table just I will create it. Read, read DT. Now I want to upload data. So I want add Q item. Right hand side, right hand side, mention Q name here. Just go to UI path framework and copy. And paste it. Now what data you want to write? So I will create argument. First data is as per Excel sheet, like first name. So simple, I say first name, string, value way to write, like row. Just go to here and copy. And paste it. Use the string. That way this data will capture. Similarly way, similarly way, we'll repeat this, okay? Let me run and upload the data. Then we will go to our framework, okay? Let's run it. Education is completed. Let me open Q. Replace it. View transaction and you can see the uploaded data. See. Okay. Now we will go to our framework.
inside are you from the open first page just open the in initialization stage simply go to the any all application click on open workflow here i have to open the website so drag drop open browser first just copy the url and paste it Before I have to go to data, open the config file. Here just mention the Q name. Like two name is test or framework. and save. You go to get transaction data here just download the data okay okay just save it In get transaction, transaction data, we just have download the data here. Okay. Next step is process transaction. So here we just open the process, open workflow. Here I have to take each data and upload website. For that, go to Invoke Process work, Workflow. Here we use the Attach Browser Activity, okay? In 
indicate the because our value is changing always okay like first name company email whenever we refresh Our value is changing. For that, we have to use the anchor basis activity. Okay. First, indicate the browser. I have to use the find the element first. And indicate the first name. Change anchor position is always. Top. Next, next thing we have to use type info or paste the data from Q. Or paste the data from Q, use variable in transaction use the specific content inside this mention Same in first name. Then now I have to run. and see data enter valid or not. Here, as expected, open the browser and then enter the queue data. Let's wait.
just launch the RPA challenge and enter the first name and second name also. Because we are not click the submit button. See here, first slide setting, filling the process, opening the application, and get the data and process the data. Thank you guys for a good day.